you like Bob Sassy. Pretty, I can't pass it. Eating everything, nigga, no fasting. I don't care what you knew me in the past tense. I ain't no Julia Styles, this ain't no last dance. We pass it. Don't play with it, don't be the size. Hey, still not understanding. Good morning. Welcome back to a new vlog. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Quay. You roll up these windows and put this AC on. Y'all, today I got a lot of running around to do. Why would my battery start dying as soon as I start talking? Oh well, I'ma just start talking until it dies, cause I got the other one with me that I actually charged up yesterday. So, anywho, today is August 2nd and my baby turns one, oh, my camera. My baby turns one years old in 10 more days. I'm about to say eight more days. In 10 more days on August 12th, but we're gonna celebrate his birthday on the 10th of August, so, which is next Saturday. So today I just want to do some running around. So I got different things to do. I need to place an order for his birthday cake. He loves Mickey Mouse. So his theme is going to be Mickey. So I'm going to um, do that. Place an order for his cake. But not right now. I'm going to do it a little later because it's only 9 o'clock in the morning. I just dropped my other son off at camp. Um, then I got to go to Target. I got to get some stuff from Target, y'all. Um, go to Target. I actually forgot what I gotta get from Target. I gotta look at my phone. Go to Target. Go to H and M and Zara to give me some basics because if you watch my last vlog, I was supposed to go um give me some basic teas and stuff like that. Never did it, and I still ain't do it. But I'ma do it today. Um, what else? What else? I think everything else I gotta do is online. I gotta go on Amazon to order the baby his. Hey to order the baby his um mickey mouse decorations Yay. for his birthday Yay. oh and that's another thing and i want to go to barnes and noble y'all like i lately i just been feeling like well i've been feeling like this for a while now but i just haven't got around to it i want to go to barnes and nobles and i want to get some books like i want to get books that are gonna like open up my mind like books about business entrepreneurship um self-discipline books like because i'm really trying to work on my self-discipline i'm not gonna even hold you like you know and i also want to start reading on real estate because i have another little yeah yeah that i'm gonna get into um but that's gonna be for like next year because i really want to master my mind with real estate and stuff like that and i know i can ask my mom certain things because she's been in real estate and she has her real estate license but i really want to like in full depth like i don't want to just oh i ask a question and she answer it like i want all the knowledge need all the knowledge because i really want to start flipping houses next year but that's another story for another day so from now to 2025 i just want to educate myself like i'm on a journey y'all i'm on a real life journey okay but yeah so we're gonna have a very productive day today as y'all can see i took that ponytail out washed my hair yesterday my bun is looking real nice and juicy yeah um so y'all already know where we head into my favorite place where i always go we're gonna go to cross county um do everything we gotta do there and then we're gonna make our way back to manhattan so yeah y'all why am i why do i feel like i'm entering an era of wanting to delete instagram so i made a new instagram page this year i think i did and uh, what are we we about to be eight months into the into the year we halfway through the year already and i still don't even got not even 200 followers on my shit like instagram is really 
just I'm over Instagram like what the hell is going on why I made a new TikTok account that I had for almost the same amount of time I'm not gonna lie I was sitting at like a hundred and like 18 followers on my new TikTok account that I had for almost a year as well but I really mastered TikTok like TikTok is my shit why within the last three weeks I just started like taking um my tiktok account more serious because i'm like yo i had this account for almost a year this cannot be sitting like this like my instagram like what the hell is going on i still got my old tiktok account but i use that for like my business my clothing brand to promote that and i don't want to mix my lifestyle with my business page right y'all why i gained like 600 six over 600 um followers on my tiktok account when i started taking it serious just two three weeks ago so now i'm sitting at 700 like i just said like two three like three weeks ago i had only 100 and like 18 followers or whatever yes y'all my tiktok is lit it's getting lit now because you know your girl need the 10k i need 10k followers on tiktok because we trying to get the TikTok bag like every like all the other girlies. Like what's going on? And it's too fucking easy. Now that I've mastered the art of TikTok, it's really like too easy to me right now. So um it was cold. So yeah, so I'm just over Instagram. Like I'm over it. I don't even be posting like I post in my stories and in my close friends a lot. But as for like um like photos and shit i'm over it i try to post reels like every day but that shit don't work like, y'all i don't know how i'm about to jump on this highway and i just realized that my car only got 10 miles of gas on it like my tank is on e and it's a gas station right here but i don't think this gas station is open hold on i'll be back y'all let me figure this out all right y'all the fucking gas station was open thank god trying to get some vitamins i want to get like a multivitamin but i also want to get biotin too for my hair so and i got cd breakups i picked up a um mighty patch so they have some things locked up in here but not everything like by my house excuse me when you get a chance i just need something from this side I got an attitude. Look. All right, y'all. So I'm looking to H and M real quick. Oh, look, y'all. They got the Savage Fenty store here in Cross County. Cute, but we're not going in here because I don't really care for Savage Fenty. Her bra is uncomfortable. I got one on right now. It's not uncomfortable right now, but some of their stuff is. I don't know, Riri. So yeah, let's go on this H&M real quick. I'm standing here waiting for the phone. Dress that I thought was cute to wear because you know, a little mom dress or whatever. I just left Zara, I didn't get anything for me. But I bought um I bought Maria outfit for tomorrow because my family is having a cookout and then um I bought Kaden two outfits. Um one is for him to wear 
now it's really cute it's just a cute little um lightning mcqueen like the movie the cars movie but i spent a hundred dollars in zara i would have spent i would have spent more than that they had this perfume in there that smells so good that i wanted but they only had one left and it was already and it was open so i was like mm -mm, i'm not buying that niggas was probably spraying that shit to death and then when a the girl went in the back to um it smells so good y'all and then when a the girl went in the back to see if they had more that weren't open they didn't they didn't have no more so i know i'm making a good a good decision with getting that perfume because clearly it sells out yo that shit smells so good oh i could check this over by my mom's house that's what i'm gonna do because i need that perfume once i drop him off to my mom's we're gonna walk to barnes and noble and then i'm gonna get me some pliable how do y'all say it playable or pliable i wanted an acai bowl but i like the mango base oh my god the mango base is so fire with the strawberries i get the what bowl was that is it the golden i think i just made that up don't quote me it's a bowl it's a mango base bowl that has strawberries try to see what I find because ugh, I really need a good book y'all like I'm really hell-bent on like a good book I told y'all like I want to read books on like self-discipline and you know things of that nature So to start, I'm going to go with this book. I'm going to read this. I'm going to take this one. And yeah. All right, yeah, I got my playa bowl. Now I'm walking back to my mom's house. Oh, hold on, y'all. Hello? Yeah, 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 phone on. I'm eating my bowl. Tastes so good. Mmm. Everything. Everything hit different time. It's only like 12 o'clock. I body this. And now Kaden's crying because it's no more. We killed this shirt. Mm -mm -mm. Hey y'all, I'm back. I took the best nap. I took like a... Me and baby took like a good two hour and like 40 minutes. I told myself I was going to read the book when he went to sleep, but I ended up going to sleep right with him. So we still have my mom's house because like I told her I was there. It made no sense for me to go home because my son's camp was like 10 minutes from here. So I'm about to just try to start reading the book and see how much I can read while I 
baby is occupied in my mom's room touching all her stuff. <laughs> so let's get into this book, y'all. This book is good already in the beginning. I love it. And that was just me reading the publisher's preface, preface, whatever you call it. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I'm in my car. We making our way. Me and the baby is going to get um, Kamari from camp. Y'all. I didn't even really, I didn't even get to chapter one yet. I'm just reading the, the preface, yo. Already good. So good. I cannot wait to just kick my feet up tonight and start that book. And I know I could finish that shit in like a week. I already know. But yeah, I made a good choice. I chose a good book. I, don't, I might not even need to read nothing else after this book. I ain't gonna lie. But it's different series. Um of the book but when i was reading the chapters um the, the what's that when i was reading the table of contents from the other versions like the other volumes that they had in barnes and noble i didn't care for those like uh those topics i guess you could say but yeah so it's good i'm ready i'm so so ready i'm so ready like and you know it's so weird because let's talk about leveling up your life real quick okay a conversation that some people hate to have because it's just not i guess they just not on that time right now but if you feel me you're gonna feel me so one thing i'm learning about like when you're starting to level up your life like when you when your life is completely evolving and making changes you feel it whether it's small or big right <sighs> and it's like you start i realize that one thing i'm doing is working on myself more like not even myself i'm not gonna say working on myself but like opening up my mind and i'm in a space where i want to educate myself and just open up my mind and evolve my mindset and my my train of thought changing the way i process things like changing my thought process like having a more positive mindset like all of that this motherfucker like hello move the fuck over fucking old ass bitch fuck like how do y'all this lady just fucking pissed me the fuck off you driving and you fucking merging into my lane like why why you can't drive in the fucking lines get the fuck from behind a wheel like it really needs to be an age limit on on fucking having a license and being behind a fucking wheel for real shit is ridiculous bro that shit really just pissed me the fuck off <sighs> but anyways y'all she done fucked up the whole flow of the conversation her dumb ass but yeah like i was saying like i noticed that i'm like i'm just evolving into the person that is meant to be wealthy live a very wealthy life be rich like you don't fucking like how can i explain it like the words can't even come to me that's how real it is like when you um like god prepares you i can't even explain it like like god prepares you to become the person that you need to be to be able to handle all of the greatness that's about to come into your life that's about to come and come to you and into your life and into your life and like that's really facts like i used to always hear people say that before but i'm noticing that's what's going on with me without even like it's happening unconsciously right 
so it's like damn like all right i want to go i need to go get some books to open up my mind i need some books about self-discipline i need this i need that i've never thought about that before and it's like my first business i started my business y'all know i started my clothing brand business like 2021 and now um i'm starting a second business and then now well i've started my second business already I, well i took the steps to start it um i'm just waiting for you know my validation from the state to come in the mail so i could make the moves that i need to make for my second business like and then something i never thought i'd do like i reached out to one of my friends for a third business venture and i really want her to be like like i really want us to be in business together so it's like you know that's that and it's like yo i never ever thought about having a business partner i just thought i was gonna have this clothing brand and that's it and then like i told y'all earlier i want to open up my mind to real estate so now um next year i'm gonna be moving into investments you get what i'm saying so it's just like yo like i'm really doing shit like i'm really doing this shit and i'm just so proud of myself and i just be so i just be feeling so fulfilled and just so enlightened because i know like i don't play about me and anybody that knows me knows that i go hard for myself always i do not play and it's like i just feel that shit coming like i just feel it i just feel that shit coming and like i'm just so proud of myself like this time next year y'all mark my words this time next year what we in we in well we in august it's august 2nd next august my life is going to be fucking different whether it's a 50 percent difference in my life or a hundred percent difference it is going to either be a whether it's going to be a 360 or a one 180 degree turn like it's gonna be something and i just i'm excited like i'm excited for my life i'm excited what i got planned for me like for me and mine you know what i'm saying such a good feeling but yeah y'all the book good amazing i already know it's gonna take me to like the next level with my mindset with the way i move like everything <laughs> I'm yo, I already know. I already know it's gonna do what it's supposed to do for my, for me. Yo, I just I just know. I just know. And I'm a very and I'm one that's very open to knowledge and advice and like yo, and I've been saying like I want to come into contact with people that could teach me more, that could teach me more and not for nothing. That shit is in the book. <laughs> not for nothing. I wanted to put myself around people that could open up my mindset. This book is about to do just that. I don't even need any live person. Like, well, clearly it kind of is the same thing because this person wrote this book. But I probably would never be in a room with the man that wrote this book for real. And it's just like, well, actually, the guy's retired now anyways. But, um, yeah. Yeah, man. It's up. Like, it's really going to be up. I want to go. That's what I meant to do. But I forgot to do it like it um I can't even think y'all it slipped my mind I wanted to um go and get me like a notebook or two two notebooks I'm gonna get me two notebooks because I have one notebook for my clothing brand that I write in I need a second notebook for my second business and then I need a third notebook for um a third notebook for my third you know situation and then y'all one of my other homegirls we I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm leave that I'm gonna leave that alone we're gonna leave that alone we're not gonna put that out there yet but yeah so that's gonna be a number four but yeah we're not playing out here son like I just hate <clears throat> I really <clears throat> why am I always getting choked up when I'm like okay maybe am I not supposed to say that <laughs> nah but I really just I don't know i just wish everybody close to me could be on this journey with me like i really just be wanting the best for everybody and people around me and people close to me but everybody can't come along everybody don't got the same mindset as you everybody's not willing to make changes in life everybody's not willing to want to be a business owner everybody don't even fucking got the brain capacity to do so so it's just like we just gonna leave that the fuck along like whatever but yeah y'all <coughs> boy is you okay with that apple juice keep choking every five seconds slow down but yeah y'all when i finish with this book 
I'm excited to tell y'all what I learned. Like, for real, for real. Like, I'm really, really, really excited. So, yeah. I'm, like, around the corner from my son's camp. So, I'm just talk to y'all when I get back home. Um, Get him, get some Spanish food, and then we'll be back in the crib.